Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to create a window and a window is going to have text into it so you can sew whatever text you want. Now, as I've already shown, you can make a text appear in a default window by using game underscore message dot add and then string, right? But for this one we're going to make our own. So, what we can do is we take a look at some of the uh, default windows and see how they set it up. Now when you look at the faults for anything, always check out the base first, because the base is the one that has is the one everything is inheriting from, so it's the one that's gonna have the most functionality. Anyway. So we have initialize here and we'll take a look through it and it's going to go super. Now window on its own is a hidden class. Is a yep, it's a hidden class that you cannot see the code behind. But if you were to go into the help contents I need to shorten that. Go to the contents, type in window. And there it is. See, so yeah, now it's going to show you the uh, window thing. And these are the methods you have available to you by using the window class. So, we have dispose, disposed, update, move, open, and close. Update. You know, it tells you what it's doing here. Refreshes the cursor blink and pause graphics animation as a general rule. This is called once of once per frame. Same as always. Um, open and close. Now, open and close is when it kind of. I think you know what open and close is. It's kind of when it like starts out in the center of a screen and opens up really quickly. That's open and close is the opposite. And dispose and disposed is. Well. When I went over garbage collection before and saying how you need to dispose classes you create, window is one of those classes where you have to dispose it, not the computer. Okay? So, again, we're going to cover that in a moment. But that's what the uh, main stuff behind window, the hidden class is. So you can't, you can't actually see the code that's being used in that class, but you can go to the help file and check out the really, really vague and crappy examples I have for you. Anyway, so let's move down and we have update tone, so update tone would be kind of change the color a little bit. Update obviously, which is going to update tone and yep, all that. Anyway, I think I've rambled on a little bit a little too long. And you can change the color as well. I think I rambled on long enough, so now let's just make a window. So oh we're old stuff. Alright, we don't need that. And a window. Okay, so let's make our own window now, and let's go into class, call it whatever you want, but again, me, dp3, underscore window, thingy, and now we are going to inherit from window base, window base, which means what's in window base, we have initialize what's in that we have all this so this is obviously important fine so we go back down here def initialize initialize and then type in super okay so what does super do it's going to go into window base and it's going to go into initialize and initialize all this stuff now obviously initialize for window base requires arguments so we need to put them in. So in this case how big do we want our window to be in what position? Now positions on um, windows are different compared to your positions on maps. See on map this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc, etc, etc. Windows on the other hand would be like 0, 2, 3, 4, and then up to 32 here, and then 64, and then so on and so on. So windows are a bit different in that regard, whereas they uh, their position is in pixels rather than map positions. So zero zero for X would be uh, to the most left of your screen, and zero for Y would be the most up for your screen. So the first argument is x so back to window base first argument is going to be x so your axis of x is your horizontal one 
in your horizontal meaning left and right so x so if this is zero that means you're left okay now y is up and down so vertical your top is zero and your below is your screen height okay and then width and height should be simple with AL so let's make it and um, let's make it 50 50 and 200 for width and height okay that's going to make that and that's just going to be the start of the window so we'll just go to this guy here and uh, since he's not doing anything we can get rid of this and in the script call um, let's go at window is equal to db3 thingy dot new dot new okay click on ok play it talk to said guy there you go, there's that window, it's popped up but there's no text in it and I can't get rid of it now and the reason why I can't get rid of it is because I don't have a method to get rid of it okay so mm, let's make stuff first thing we're going to do is we're going to go I'm sure there might be a method for this in window base so let's check it out uh, text it's a method window base oh damn that's a lot of them um, change text oh alright then we'll make it def change text and this is going to be a string text now again this is going to be called via a script call so you want to go return unless text dot is a string and here's why so we're going to change the text for the window or the text that's inside of the window and since this is going to be called from a script call you're not you you're probably not going to be the only one that's going to be using the script call so you might have people who don't know how to script trying to use it and if they don't pass in and if they don't pass in a string for your window and it tries to change tries to put that non string into your window it's going to crash so that's why you go return unless text dot is a string because if it's a string then it can convert it into the window okay so we have text dot is a string and let's go back to window base and see what else they're using we have contents okay I remember this it's contents it should be draw text somewhere draw text there we go window base def draw text okay this is what we're looking for draw text and we can copy that into our own window and um, and for that one just for now cool draw text now contents dot draw text arguments now again arguments meaning uh, it's an array that just gets rid of square brackets pretty much now what arguments are what draw text arguments are is actually uh, x y text width and uh, text height and then your alignment okay so that's actually what your text is for window base it just doesn't show it so x y text width text height so x y is actually relative to the window so zero would be to the windows left for x and y zero would be to the windows top okay text width actually doesn't have any to anything to do with the size of the text it just says how far along can this go alright and I'll show you an example of that in a moment then we have text height which is the exact same as width set for down and then alignment now alignment um, I think 0 is left 1 is centered and 2 is to the right I'm not too positive on that one yet though okay so we have contents of draw text do that and I'm gonna paste it here don't need that and alignment is going to equal zero by the default okay now that we have this let's go 
return on this text so there's a string and we can go draw text um Concept of draw text. Oh, the first one has to be the string too. So, string or text. First argument is text. All right, and draw text. Draw text. I want you to draw what we're passing into the argument here, which is going to be a string text, and then draw at ten, ten window width. So that would be uh, 200 and 200 for the height. And alignment, I'm not going to change that just yet. Going to uh, need to copy that. Change text. Go to this guy. Um, and script call. Nope. Yep. At window dot draw text. Uh, change text. Um, howdy. And it's a string. Dot one. Can I convert string into an integer? Now, where's that? Obviously, it's a script call. Where's the problem? Problem is text 10, 10, 20, 20. Let's check out what uh, draw text is doing. So, draw text is um, arguments. So, let's get rid of that. And that, and that, and that. Now we'll go back up to window base, because we're debugging now. We're going to go to draw text, and we are going to print out arguments. So, message box underscore p, ARGS. That's going to print out the arguments. And window, we'll get um, someone here to talk. You, you can chat. Show text. Hi. And okay, play it. Oh, it just starts there too. Four zero one two. Okay, all right. Okay, I see. I see. All right, that that's fine. Text goes here. Text. Alrighty. Now we go back to window base and. Get rid of that, and now we can play it. Talk to you. Howdy! Alrighty. Now, we go back to window, and we can modify these values a little bit, so that way we make sure it is actually changing and doing its job. So, 10, 10, uh, 10 goes across a little bit, so 100 now. It's going to be really ugly looking, I reckon. Um, I'm going to make this zero. Change the height to uh, that's width. Change width. To keep that to 200, and uh, change this to 10. Now you're going to see it look really compacted and ugly. There. See, you can't see shit now. Which is why, if we change it to 100, now if we look at it. There you go, now you can see it. And that's all there is to it, really. So, as I was saying, um, in regards to the text width and text height, it's how much of it you can see properly, so how far down along the line it can go. So, in the case, if I was to have um, high and then go down a line and then draw more text, so if I was to write in something like. Uh, Hi, and then how are you? All right. If I was to have it as only show 100 in width, it's going to show this, and then probably about half of this because that's going out of the uh, line, out of the uh, scope of the uh, drawing section of it. Now I know this tutorial has been really crappy in explaining everything go that's going on in the window, so I'll try to make it a little bit better. But honestly, it's not too difficult once you understand what it's doing. So again, zero, zero for the left and uh, up. Now we can definitely change the text for something else here. So change text equals howdy. If we were to change our text again, I'm sure that won't 
clear it. So at window dot change text uh, setting. Click on OK. You'll probably see Halidy and setting overlapping. There you go. And the reason why is you want to go when you change text just before you do it. Um, contents dot clear. Alright. There you go. Now it's not overlapping. And as you can see, I can actually move with this window displaying, so that's helpful for changing stuff. Or quest objectives and all this kind of stuff. So if you if you want to script that, you go ahead and feel free to. Alright. So to explain this in uh monitoring and uh good sense. Bad choice of words. Alright, we do initialize and that's going to pass in X, Y and width and height of the actual window itself. So in this case X and Y was obviously not to the left of the screen. It was more a little bit edging over to the right. So if I was to have that as zero it would actually be straight to the left. And that's the location of the window. When you draw text, you're drawing your location is inside of the window itself. So that's why it's zero and zero and two hundred and one hundred and crap like that, All right? So that's just the window that we're that we're doing here. Now the content stuff is well, it should be pretty simple from the name of it. But contents means the stuff inside of the window. If you were to, if you say contents are clear, you're basically saying get rid of what's already in it. Alright, so it's like contents are clear, get rid of what's in it already, and then draw text just after you cleared everything. Meaning you draw text now and you're gonna change that text to whatever I just inserted, which was high and howdy and how are you and stuff. So that's why that's what contents does. Alright. Now there are obviously more stuff in window window base, all I showed was text. They do have draw icons and stuff like that, so if I was to go draw underscore, search it up, see they have draw goals, draw icon, draw face, character, yep, all, all this stuff. And you can actually use this in your own custom window because it is inherited, remember? So if, if I was to go and look at some of them where they're doing it, search it up again, uh, draw gorge. Alright, we can draw a gorge by passing in these arguments and draw an icon by passing those arguments and yada yada yada. Icon index is uh, really straightforward. Actually, I think we can probably draw an icon. Alright, we'll go over to our weapons, check out these, and look at for an icon that looks pretty nice. How about that? At index is 392. Okay, I'll keep that in mind and we'll go. Damn it. We'll go here and. No script. There. So I want and back to our window. We'll go in draw text. Don't really do this in your own program. Actually, make it proper. But draw text, and I'm gonna go um, draw. I no, actually, I'll put it here. Draw icon, and the first one is index. So three nine two. Now, what is draw icon one as parameters at once? Uh, def draw icon x y and enabled x y meaning um, obviously 10 and 20 so position of it and enabled meaning do you want it to actually be to actually be shown probably okay and since it's the def it's default I don't really give much of a crap so talk to the guy and hey look a sword appeared and that's how you make uh, icons and uh, text. Now, that's really all there is to it. There are more you can use, but for your own sake, in your own, if you're going to create a window, just use the default methods in your own window. So, create a class window thingy, and then inherit from a window base, and then use the default methods for yourself. Alright? So, that's all there is to it. it. I know this tutorial wasn't exactly great at explaining windows, but. I'm sure I did a good enough job to at least give you the gist of how to make it. Alright, so until next time.